Okay, so we've got no wind, so we're not going to be able to do the um, motor sailing test, unfortunately. There's no wind whatsoever. January the 14th and uh, not a breath, so who says we have terrible winters? What we are going to do though is to do the full power check, find out what our uh, wide open throttle RPM is on this boat with this fit, and then we're going to go to 80% of that and we're going to use the same RPM as our maximum for the Brunton's autocrop. We're then going to measure speed at that RPM, we're going to back off a couple of hundred RPM at a time and match speed and RPM and also sound level. And then what we're going to do is from uh, that same RPM and stable speed we're going to go to idle, count to one and then go full astern. We're going to time how long it takes to come to a full stop. Then we're going to leave it in full astern and we're going to see what maximum speed we get astern. That at least will tell us as much as possible about how the propeller is working. Okay, so I'm going to just go to wide open throttle. I've got the keel up. So wide open throttle is giving me 2,800 RPM. With a wide open throttle I've got 69 decibels. I stay at 2,400 RPM, 67 decibels. Okay, at 2400 RPM, stabilised, about 4.6 knots, 4.65, coming in about. Stabilised, 3.2 knots, so I'm going to go to 2200 RPM. RPM I'm getting 66 decibels. I'm saying at the moment we're doing three knots. Okay stabilized going the other way I've got 4.4 knots. Stable at 2000 RPM and 64 decibels. 2.6 knots. At 3.5 knots. I take another 200 off and go to 1800. 62 decibels. 2.7 knots. Two point one knots. Take off another couple of hundred. Last time now. Sixteen hundred RPM. That's sixty decibels. That stabilised at one point one point nine knots. four knots coming about. Okay the next test is the crash stop. I've got 2400 RPM and I've got pretty much a stable speed. I'm gingerly turning the corner so I don't slow us down too much. And when we get alongside the buoy on my left and the withy on my right I'm going to go into neutral, say one 1000 and then go astern, put full power on and see how long it takes to stop using the film timer as our stopwatch. Now one, one thousand.
Okay, while we fill all the mean figures in, I'll just uh, remind you to click subscribe if you want to be notified when the Brunton test data has been done, and click like to help us make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.